Hello and welcome back. My name is Ted Kulikevich and this is Ted K Studio. Today we're going to be redesigning the Instagram login page. So let's get right into it. So one of the reasons why I wanted to just give it a refresh is because looking at it, you can see by the devices, it's pretty outdated. Uh, it's pretty straightforward and simple. However, I think we can create something a bit more unique, interesting, and add a bit more of the brand presence into this screen. So I'll just make a duplicate artboard and start jamming away on it. So we're gonna start by wireframing all these objects on the right here. And then once we have them all laid out, we're gonna start designing them. So the first thing we want to do before we actually design and style things is just get the wires out there so that you can see where everything's placed and everything fits properly because you don't want to get into design halfway through you realize that you don't have enough room or space for a certain object. So we always start with a wireframe. Now that I know where things are going to go, I'm going to dive into the design portion of things. For this concept login screen, I'm just going to use my Instagram redesign concept and we'll pull the colors and styles from there. Now that we got the elements here on the right redesigned, I'm gonna go look for a mock-up that I can use to replace these devices here. And I'll just uh, slap some screenshots from my portfolio on here. So this is my redesign concept here and I'll just explain a few of the decisions made along the way. So the main thing I want to establish from the buttons here is just a hierarchy, login being the most prevalent button, and that's followed up with login with Facebook, which is an outline, so it's secondary. Then the tertiary one is don't have an account sign up, so it has that blue color. And then I kind of broke the rules with these buttons, but they were just too heavy compared to everything else, drawing way too much attention. So I outlined them, just still made them pretty prominent. Um, and then I placed these nice light mock-ups on the left here just to keep everything on this light color tone. Um, and the last thing I did was just make the background this cool, slightly blue color to freshen things up. So here's the before and after. I'm gonna make this a free downloadable resource in the Figma community. So check that out, it's attached to the video below. If you enjoyed this kind of content and videos and you wanna see more, please drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.